What is going on, everyone? Badger here. Should have liked and sub, and let's get into this. Well, unfortunately, even though Ubisoft is cleaning house and starting the process, which I imagine is going to go on for a while, of laying off and outright firing its employees before its games comes out, uh, Star Wars Outlaws being one of the games that has not even come out yet, uh, still no shortage of controversies and well maybe not a controversy but we're adding one more to the list of things we're all talking about uh and that's that they're attempting to lure players in with possible lando calrissian and hondo onaka because i know you all love that very obscure clone wars character uh to season pass missions first who the hell is paying for the season pass but also unclear if the characters are completely paywalled meaning that even if you buy the season pass if you're going to then have to buy additional parts of it uh so we can see right here in this blog post ubisoft revealing that calrissian will arrive in a story pack titled wild card and that it's set to release in fall 2024 company detailing that k is hired to infiltrate a high stakes sabacc tournament uh but as she crosses paths with the notorious gambler lando calrissian she soon learns that another game is being played and of course no wor word if donald glover or uh, billy d williams is coming back to actually play the character following the release of wild card ubisoft promises that a pirate's fortune arrives in spring 2025 a brief description states the trailblazer's reputation precedes k as she runs into veteran pirate hondo onaka who is looking to settle with old scores with the ruthless, uh, ruthless gang of pirates the only hondo i recognize is of course fully transitioned leona's bird um you can see here that uh their season pass uh I'll talk about it in a second uh it's unclear whether or not lando calrissian and hondo onaka will be available to players outside of purchasing the season pass in the blog post ubisoft reiterated that the exclusive mission Jabba's gambit does not put Jabba the hut behind a paywall the company wrote all players will meet Jabba in the main game but those with season pass access gain an additional quest from notorious hut cartel just as k is putting together a crew for her big heist she receives a job from jabba the hut himself in d5 owes jabba a debt from years ago and he has come to collect so with that one and as you can see in order to play that particular mission they mentioned it is part of their super expensive 130 dollar or of course we're going to buy into their uh, uh their subscription model this is their get used to not owning your game thing where you just have to subscribe for it uh as I said, there's going to be probably a bunch of different Jabba missions. Uh, missions. This is just one that's pulled out and sold to you for that extra 130, uh, which they're basically admitting. Uh, you can see here Ubisoft just openly embracing the dark side. You need the season pass to play Star Wars Outlaws Jabba the Hutt mission. But again, it is just that one out of many. Uh, that's, again, what they're going with here. Uh, go back to their actual season pass. You can see that you're going to get han solo outfit basically and a nyx skin and the reason i bring up nyx the, the species is her little uh little friend who's their their bd1 basically from fallen order uh you can see here that if you're a member of disney plus shout out to bounding in the comics for this one but if you're a member of disney plus you can get this free skin which uh, essentially amounts to this blue wrapping for the tail so there you go. That must have taken them all of 30 seconds to code into the game there. I obviously I, I just it took longer, but still, that's if you there you go. That's your what you can look forward to. Other than that, controversy abound. This is what the voice actress for K looks like. That's what we got. Uh, you know, the ugling up of women, something that we don't see with men, because here we go. Here's uh Cameron is Cal Kestis, and look, pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty pretty uh direct uh translation there so and again the whole controversy with uh for just the base game 70 bucks uh, and then the gold edition for the early access and pre-order bonus of course and but you get the season pass which may or may not also come with La uh, han and uh hondo and then again that ultimate edition that has everything well almost everything um oh no it does it has everything but in addition you could also get their goddamn subscription model which is how they're eventually going to go when they realize that uh they could just keep charging you for it so yeah let me know what you think of this is the is the calrissian and hondo dlc going to be enough perhaps the free nick's tail wrapping dlc will that be enough to get you to play the game or is this just another in cheap offerings for what will be a cheap game with 
empty, bland planets with the same bases and the same generic enemies that you can struggle with horrible AI to get through, uh, to get rewards for a character that is not rewarding to play. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Make sure to let me know. Make sure to like, share, and sub if you have done that. Thank you. If you're going to do that, thank you. Well, well. bye.